Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo ThinkPad model E14 and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can replace the RAM or upgrade the RAM on these models. I made a really short video, I'll leave that link in the video description where you can open it up to check the max limit of the RAM that you can have on yours because you can purchase the same model but you might have a different CPU, iCore 7 or iCore 3 so based on your CPU, you need to know your maximum RAM capacity, but you, you can go add an extra 16 gig is them with no issue. So check that link. But in this video, I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can remove or replace the RAM. With that said, we're gonna get it started. First thing first, you wanna power off the laptop. Once the laptop is powered off, you wanna flip it upside down. And on the bottom cover, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. These screws, they have a little C-lock on the other side that will prevent the screw coming up entirely. So pretty much you just have to twist it until you feel like it's loosened and it makes a tiny click. That's what you want to do. So I'm going to grab myself the screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set. These are one of the best screw sets out there. So you're going to use a Phillips number one. And we are going to start from one corner. We're just going to twist. And once I feel that it's loose, just going to leave it there. Do this to all the screws all around. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, now that we removed all the screws, I mean, loosen up all the screws, we're gonna grab ourselves an opening tool. For the opening tools, I recommend you guys to grab a uh, guitar pick. At 0.3 millimeters, metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. What do you want to do here? You want to put the opening tool between the palm rest and the bottom cover, just like that. And you just want to twist it around, work yourself, and you're going to feel it that it's lifting up. And you want to do that, bring it to the side, same thing on the side. And you want to pull it towards yourself or pull the cover upward a little bit, little hard, and bring it up to 45 degree, and do the same thing, put your finger on the hinge, and pull it up, same thing here, pull sideways up, and that way you can bring it. The, one that, the reason we pull, because there's a tiny hook right in the middle, this hook that holds from exactly, from the battery, right there, so that's why we wanna pull it up with a little bit of force. And there's your bottom cover. All right, right away we can see the battery and we can see the only place that the RAM that could be hiding, hiding it's right under this aluminum shield. And there's a one screw that holds the shield in its place. Now, people always say, oh, should I disconnect the battery? You don't need to disconnect the battery, absolutely, it's not necessary. But if you want to be paranoid, then to do that, you want to pull these cables back. So grab this flip thing right here and pull it towards the backside and that way you can disconnect the battery. But once you disconnect it, when you want to put it back in, you want to bring it evenly, make sure evenly straight goes in, not sideways. And you want to pinch it all the way toward the jack. But again, to upgrade the RAM or hard drives, you don't need to do this. All right, to remove, but if you are really flimsy, uh, clumsy and you think you're going to touch there with a screwdriver the board, then sure, go ahead and do it. And if you want to have that extra precaution, disconnect it. Otherwise, you can just remove one screw right there tiny one. Now, once you remove that one, we need to pull this cover up. There's a tiny clips holding it from the side. So grab it from here, bring it up, twist it upward, and lift it upward this way. Don't make sure it don't goes around. Okay? So there's the shielding. All right. Now that we can see the RAM right here, to remove the RAM or re release the RAM, all you need to do is to pull these two triggers away from each other, and the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. All you want to do is just Pull it out in the same 45 degree angle. These are a DDR4 RAM, so this is an 8 gig. You can grab a 16 gig stick with no problem. And just make sure the notch on the stick matches the notch right on the dim, right in there. So if I try to put it the other way around, it's not gonna go through because the notches are not matching. So you wanna bring it down, make sure the notch matches in 45 degree inside the jack all the way in, and then push it towards the motherboard and you're gonna here, these two triggers open and close, just like that. Now that we place the new RAM in there, we're gonna grab the shield, the power, and we're gonna align it over the hooks from corner to corner, and we're gonna push it down 
and put a single screw right on top, right there. And that's how you can operate. If you have disconnected the battery, plug it back in. And the last thing will be to just grab the bottom cover, put it on and pinch the corners down the side, make sure you those tiny clicks. Once you hear those, and just go ahead and tighten up the screws. And remember when you power on the laptop, it might turn on and off for a few seconds. That's normal because the motherboard is gonna do a mem check, a memory check. So it might take up to five to 10 seconds for it to start showing a logo or boot up. So don't panic. Again, I hope you guys like this video. If you have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.